So you'll get a hydraulic line kit specific to your model of trailer. In this case, it's the 4500 with a dual axle. And you run your main line from your module at the front all the way down to your first axle where it um, has a T-piece. So this is your T-piece. Your main line comes down here, connects up to one end, and you have a tail that goes to your caliper, the short piece around 500 mil. Uh, and then you have your second line down to your second axle, down to the another T-piece. And the rear of the T-piece, you'll have a tail again going to your caliper. So you can see your small line going to your caliper, and it goes into the uh, one end of the caliper, and you'll see you'll have two bleeders. And you'll use generally the top bleeder when you're uh, bleeding the brake system. And from that T-piece then you'll run your line across your rear axle all the way to the other side of your rail. And the rear of that T-piece of course runs into your caliper in the rear. And the forward part of the T-piece you run your line to the forward axle and straight into your caliper. So your module is at the front, which you've bolted on already, and the module is designed to take a number of different actuators, which your hydraulic line will attach to. So you've got a Felk, Hydrostar, Elco, Dexter, so whichever one you're using obviously needs to correspond to your in-car controller because they need to talk to each other. Once you connect your hydraulic line to the actuator, you can then bleed up your brakes. So once you've completed that, hydraulic fluid in your actuator, either dot 3 or 4, depending on the manufacturer specifications, and you're ready to bleed the line. The easiest way to do that is to use your breakaway switch, um, which will charge the line, and you'll need to bleed the air out of the uh, line at each caliper. And you'll use generally the top bleeder when you're uh, bleeding the brake system. So you'll need a friend to help you out, uh, one will activate the pump and the other will crack the bleeder to uh, extract the air and once that's done you tighten the bleeder back up and you do that for each caliper.